Well, Australia find themselves now in a strong position, thanks to Davey Warner. Uh, interesting, a, a big Test match 100 uh, yesterday for David Warner, but it hasn't been a great year for him in Test cricket, but pretty good in one-day cricket. Oh, his one-day form has been outstanding, Mark. I, I think we saw through the Chapel Hadley Trophy how good a form he was in. And I think he might have been a little bit fatigued coming to the first Test in Brisbane, yeah. but what he did in the one-day format was played his natural game from ball one. Yeah. Didn't, need, didn't look like he needed much time to get in. He just saw the ball and reacted and backed his natural talent. And he does that very well, David Warner. Yeah, we look back to that Chapel Hadley series. Two hundreds in the three games. One at Monica and one here at the MCG. Then he goes to the Gabba. Uh, first test match against Pakistan. A little unlucky there. Yeah. And then gets out playing a big shot in the second. And we start to think, what sort of form is he in when he's wearing white clothing? Yeah, look, I think he's in good form, and I think we saw that in the one-day series. I think he might have been a little bit mentally fatigued going into that first Test match. And I think the drive, the fact that he hadn't scored 100 at the MCG in the Test format really gave him that extra bit of drive going into this Test match. He wanted to stand up and get 100 here. Yeah, we'll just have a look at some of these stats here. This is before the innings yesterday. David Warner at the MCG. He's played five Test matches here. No hundreds. Uh, you can see an average of, of 24.2 uh, here at the MCG, and yet his overall record in Australia in Test matches, he's averaging 63.4 with 1,200s and 750s at all the other venues. Yeah, I, I don't think Dave Warner's got a problem with the MCG, though. He scored so many one-day runs here. I think it's just the way it's panned out. But as a player, you take that on board when you know you haven't performed as well as you would like at a certain ground. It breeds, breeds that hunger inside you. So when you get an opportunity, you want to capitalise. And I think the difference between this test match and the Gabba was a little bit of luck. Yeah. I thought Dave Warner had a little bit of luck at the start of his innings here, where at the Gabba might have found the edge or got that top edge playing the pull shot. That's right. Well, let's have a look at the start of that inning. A few players and misses, as you expect when you take on the new ball. There's a little bit of sideways yeah. movement there. A couple of were in the air, fell safe. That one there could have, could have gone the other way. Another play and miss. So it wasn't fluent right from the word go. Yeah, I mean, the Pakistan bowlers deserve credit. They move the ball off the seam and, and we've said throughout this whole test match the brand new ball is going to be the hardest time to bat yeah. on this pitch. So I think you can forgive yeah. David Warner or anybody for a few plays and misses. Yeah, but then after he got through that early period we then saw the Dave Warner we've seen in those one day games earlier this year. Yeah. The big shots, the ones that over the top through the field hitting the gaps, the ones that take the game away from opposition very quickly. Yeah, he's a specialist in this position. When he's on top he hits the ball as clean as anybody. And again, it's not the fact he's making so many runs, it's how he's making them. Yeah. He's pushing the game forward to get Australia always into a really aggressive attacking position. Yeah. Set, set the tone for the other batsmen as well. Yeah, and it ended up being a runner ball 143 for David Warner. And uh, it said took the game away. Well, he's taking the game away from Pakistan. They're lucky they got him late last night. It could be in real trouble. Yeah.